Hi everyone, it's Gabran here and today I'm going to show you this. This is the Nintendo NFC reader for the Nintendo 3DS, 3DS XL and the, 3, and the 2DS. It came out about a week ago in Japan. It's going to come out in America around about October time as well as Europe along with the release of Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer which is a very amiibo centric game for the 3DS. Um, the, basically what this is, this is the NFC reader for the earlier 3DS models. Um, so you're able to use your Amiibos on there, Amiibo cards when they come out, and you can read that data and use that within 3DS games. Um, the price of this unit, um, at the moment you're looking at around about um, $30 to $40, which is around about um, 50, uh, about £20-25, pounds, depending where you buy it from, if you're importing. Uh, retail, when they come out, I believe it's going to be about um, $25 to $30. Uh, and the price in Europe is about um, uh, 15 to I think it's about 15 to 18 pounds. So I think maybe even 20 pounds at cost. Um, so um, it's not expensive device. Obviously, if you don't want to upgrade your 3DS, but do still want to be able to use Amiibos, then this is something you'll need to buy. Have uh, a look at the box first of all. So you can see on the front of it, you have got the picture of the device, the name, obviously a mention of Amiibos and Nintendo 3DS. On the top of the box, you've got the DS logo and actually a Nintendo logo printed on the um, the tag there. On one side, you have Nintendo 3DS printed there, um, and then on the other side, you've got NFC reader and the contents of the, the details of the contents of the box. Uh, again, it's, this is the same as all, a lot of Nintendo's own products. It's very, very basic design. Uh, on the back, we have um, more information about the item. We've got the details of, you know, they show you a picture of it being, of an Amiibo being scanned on it to a, a 3DS XL. Um, and then obviously it tells you which units are compatible with. And you can see there, you've got a Nintendo 3DS and 3DS LL, which is in Japan. Is that's actually the XL unit, as they just call it the LL instead. Um, now, if you notice, it doesn't say 2DS on the box, but I think that's because the 2DS didn't get a release in Japan and was only available in um, Europe and America. Um, but you can see it's not compatible with the new 3DS and new 3DS LL, so XL. Um, this is because those units already have NFC readers built into them to be able to be used with Amiibo functionality. Um, so what you actually get in the box though, is you get two AA batteries because the unit requires them. Uh, you then get the manual, which is again Nintendo, it's one of those single sheets of paper manuals that Nintendo are, are doing now on everything. Um, um, what you basically have on it is details, it tells you about the device, tells you how to fit the batteries, how to turn it on, um, how to connect it to your DS and that your maximum range is about 20 centimeters uh, between that and the console and that's obviously the infrared port on the console because it transmits its data via infrared uh, similar to the way uh, the circle pad pro does uh, or the wii u fit meter or the animal you know the uh, pokemon uh, pedometers or walk with me pedometers that were on the ds and the wii u respectively um, so here's the unit itself put it there you can see it's it literally is a very very clean design it's just a, like a sardine can style um, look it's just you know a bit of a tube um, on the front of it which is here you have the infrared transmitter a power light and a power button uh, there's nothing else on any of the sides on the top I'll make sure that I get the logo around because obviously it depends um, you can see the uh, logo for the NFC reader uh, which is that sort of like two rectangles, one over the other, and then on the bottom, as this focuses, you get the uh, model number, which is CTR012, made in China, Nintendo 3DS, Nintendo logo, and then some kite mark, um, sort of CE marks, things like that. Um, that's on the battery cover. Once you remove the battery cover, you can just see you've got the slot for the two AA batteries, and they just go in as they would normally. Put them in and then put the cover back over it and there you go there's your uh, there's your uh, NFC reader ready to go and all you then do is turn it on 
where blue light turns on that's your uh, power and activity light um, what you'll notice is when you try and read transmit data between this and the 3DS the actual light will flash um, during the transmission period and then to turn it off again just press it again and that turns off so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to turn the light off and set it up so I can show you uh, the reader actually being used with the, with the 3DS right so I've now got the NFC reader set up next to a original 3DS, this is a power model now before you can use the NFC reader you need to make sure you have the latest firmware on your 3DS um, which this one already has but obviously you know, if you need to know how to work to get that done you can go to the, uh, Nintendo and they will give you information on doing that it's very simple, just go to settings, update firmware, make sure you're connected to the internet and it will download the update um, once you've got the uh, latest update or even one of the previous, I think it's about 9. Point uh, well, as soon as they hit the 9, which is when they introduced the Amiibo stuff and the new 3DS, this is when the option has been made available to the original 3DSs. Um, but to get to the Amiibo settings, for the basic, within the system so you can manage your Amiibos, is you go to the uh, uh, menu, um, the, sorry, the home screen menu, settings menu, which is the house with the spanner in the top left hand corner of the bottom screen. Press that, and then what you'll get is you scroll down, you'll then have Amiibo settings in the bottom, near the bottom, but just uh, below the Nintendo 3DS image share and the links to settings and the uh, e Nintendo store. Um, so all you do is you press that and the system will then load the Amiibo software which is the front screen, here you go, so it's got this nice little calming music. Um, on this one, if you can see in the bottom, in the bottom, you have a couple of options. Um, three of which are the same ones you get on the new 3DS. Um, you get the register owner and nickname. You get delete amiibo game data or reset amiibo. But basically, all that is is that's when you first get it, you register the amiibo to yourself um, and give it a name. Uh, give yourself a name then the second one is where you can delete any game data that's saved to it so if you've got super smash brothers data saved on it you can erase that and then um, create a new one or put different game data on there um, as that new games use that sort of data segment of the data um, but you've also got the reset memo which is the one that will actually erase all of the Amiibo data to turn it back into a you know an Amiibo that's not been used. Um, so you could then trade it in a GameStop or Game or whoever your your trading shop or set it on eBay, and then no one's getting your data from it. Um, the other option that you get on this one, if you can see there, is update um, uh, Nintendo 3DS NFC uh, reader writer. Now basically that's because. The NFC chip, uh, the NFC reader in the new 3DS gets up. If there's any changes to the software, that gets updated when you update the firmware. Um, obviously, the NFC reader module, the unit, this one here, isn't connected to the internet. It doesn't do it. So you actually update the software to it if there is any updates by connecting it to a 3DS and, and checking for uh, and writing updates to it. Um, the way you do that and the way you actually use this unit you, is you turn it on by pressing the power button have the blue light, then within this menu or within the game you go into read it, but within this menu if you want to check for, if you want to try and install an update to the software, just click on that menu and what you'll see is the power, the power light flashes on the unit, that means it's receiving data, um, because there are no new updates at the moment um, you get a message saying the NFC reader writer is already up to date and would you OK it now if there was an update the system would obviously down, send that to the the device but it doesn't yet um, <clears throat> so if you want to you know, read an amiibo with it and we'll say for example register a, new, register a new one all you do is you select the register amiibo and then just place the amiibo near to the, to the top of the base that's it it's, it's then there and set and you can save that like that and it will ask you to resend the data so it failed because I took it away too quickly. If I wish, okay, you can place it and just leave it there. Then that just writes the data, it writes the data to the amiibo. Um, that means that is then registered to the, the person who has that. Uh, if you want to reset the amiibo and get rid of all the settings on it, just click reset, then put the amiibo on the base, and it'll ask you to confirm the arrays. You just say next, reset, 
Of course, leaving it on the base is best because it takes time to send data. And there you go, the reset complete. So that's uh, that would then be erased. So they, that's how the the base works. If you've used Amiibos before, or if you you know obviously use like um, card systems with the contactless cards, it's basically that. It's it's just the exact same thing, but instead of being attached to the device, it's sent via an infrared transmission. Um, what I'm now going to do is I'm going to do a test of um, how far uh, the Amiibo can be read. Okay, what I've got here is a Pikachu Amiibo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and see how far away the various readers need to be for them to actually read. So the first one we're going to try is going to be the Wii U. And what I've got, to position myself properly, is tape measure and I'll put that there and I'll take the amiibo and we'll see how far down you can get. So that comes in about two centimeters the the amiibo was being read by the user state by the um tab by the Wii U tablet. The next one which is the one that um was actually the reason for my, my video back when I did is the free, new 3DS. So again, I'm gonna put tape measure there and we'll come down and we're past two centimeters. So that comes in just under a, just over a centimeter for that to read. So it took that much down there to, uh, to read. So, and the last one is the new reader, so I'll turn the volume back up and have that turned on. Again, same thing, get the tape measure, place it by the base, and we come down Whatever I told you to read it, first of all. <laughs> it must remember to press the read button. Okay, so we've got the register button, that's asking for Amiibo, and we're coming down and that four centimeters, so it's actually a stronger reader in there than even on the Wii U, um, and a lot better than the one on the new 3DS. So that saw that went through. That's fine. Okay, what we're now going to try is I'm going to put Pikachu back in his box, and we're going to see if um, the, the devices are able to read through that box and see it. Now what I will say is the packaging for my Pikachu. I have removed the, the aluminium sticker from the base, that's been removed so that doesn't impede it in any way. Um, so it's just a question of whether the actual packaging and the distance between the amiibo and the reader causes any problems. So I'll just quickly put that back in this box. Right, so here's the Pikachu back in the box. I've not finished putting all the, the, the paper and that work that goes with it, but I just wanted to show to you that the base of the Pikachu, we're looking at two centimeters from the actual base of the Amiibo and the bottom of the box, which means you're looking at two centimeters clearance before you know, you know, to, for it to need to go clear to actually read. And as we know, the new 3DS can't handle that distance so we're going to see once the packaging in there how much of a difference that makes and whether that affects um, you know the, the actual readability when it comes to the other stuff okay so Pikachu's now back in his box and it's also got the manual that's in there so the only thing that's not in the box when you buy a brand new Amiibo you know, right now is that aluminium sticker which is used to stop it from being read by people wanting to read NFC data. Um, so what we're going to try is we're going to see how far from the system coming, how far from the device, or different devices, can the Amiibo still be read. So come back to the Wii U tablet again. Right. So that's there and get the Amiibo box and we can come down and we're about about a centimetre from the bay from the actual Wii U tablet and that's that's red the amiibo. So that's about there. Now we've got the new 3DS. Go to Red Amiibo. And because of the way it's designed, the, really the best way to try and get it would be to do that. 
and I'm touching the box, the bottom of the box is touching, I'm actually pushing it down to try and prove it's sealed, no, no read at all, but again because the read is not strong enough to um, get the signal through, basically through the air, um, you know, even without that aluminium sticker in place. Okay now lastly we're going to use the original 3DS with the new reader. Um, now the first thing to remember, because it's a wireless communication, um, I don't know if I'll just be quiet so you can hear it, if I start the task, if so I'm about to tell it to read an amiibo, you just got to say anything, Nefo? Right, do you just hear that little that little chime, that chime is the Amiibo, sorry, is the NFC reader talking to the 3DS and you can see, if I put it back a bit, you can see the lights constantly flashing as there's communication going on. So that little chime just acknowledges the connection and if I now take my Pikachu and bring him down, that's a good two centimetres and that's Reddit. So that shows you that this NFC reader is actually even better for reading Amiibos than the Wii U and a lot better than the new 3DS. So that's the new NFC reader for the Nintendo 3DS, 3DS XL and 2DS. Um, I hope you enjoy this video, I hope it gives you some information about this device. If you do, like the video and subscribe to my channel. I try and get as many videos as I can um, and I'm trying to obviously change stuff and move stuff around. Um, else you can follow me on Twitter at Galban. I'll put a link to that in the description below. Alright, bye!